up to us. Well, Youth Fight for Jobs has organised this demonstration in London today with young people coming from all around the country to protest against what we feel is uh, the government's completely inadequate response to this recession. There's one million unemployed young people. There are budget cuts planned at the universities and the colleges. There aren't enough apprenticeships and so on. Uh, so young people are being made to pay the price for the huge uh, bank bailouts that weren't their fault. Jobs. No jobs. They're looking all the, 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 the jobs there are only get paid the bloody minimum wage for most of them anyway. Aye. Aye. You can't even get bloody any of these education. Okay, I, I'm Alec. I'm here today because uh, I need a job and I'm young and I'm unemployed. Uh, this is the, the best way to um, make our voice heard that we don't want to stand for being forgotten about because that's how it feels at the moment. Because our government aren't that bothered. They found loads of money to bail out bankers and uh, sort of that sort of stuff. But when it comes to young people, people that actually matter, they're people from their country, they just ignore us. Uh, How many people went for your job in Pumpkin now? Uh, 200. 200. And how many vacancies were there? Uh, we've come here today from the PCS changing the which officially supports the Youth Fight for Jobs campaign. Hi, my name is Chris Musgrave. Um, I'm here representing the PCS Wales Young Member Network. Okay. I'm Shazine and I'm from Job Centre Plus, who's uh, Department of Work and Pensions and I'm part of PCS. Uh, I'm Tiffany, I'm from Northumbria University and I'm here for fighting for jobs. It's an organisation called Daima, it's a Turkish and Kurdish community centre. We all face the same problems, we all suffer the consequences of education cuts and the job losses. My name is Sevgi and I'm from North London. We're here to show the government that we want free education and we want a decent education and we want jobs once we are graduates. <laughs> Credit crunch hitting us the worst, really. Lovely. Azhar. Shiva. Leicester. 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 Graduates not able to get jobs, um, low minimum wage, um, free internships. Fight for jobs, real jobs. This. I think that the government is bailing out the bosses and the big business, and basically young people are having to pay with um, cuts in jobs. And obviously, cuts in services as well, so we can stand up for ourselves. We've got the marching to the We've got a message for the Prime Minister. And it's that one. Education is a right, it's a right, it's a right. Education is a right, not a privilege. I'm here on the, I'm losing my voice, obviously. I'm here um, on the Youth Fight for Jobs March because I think it's important for us especially to realise that they can't keep on continuously spending money on the private sector and not actually helping society to rebuild the economy to get us out of recession. But then, they, the government and the private sector bankers put us in. We need to show that we're not going to stand for these cuts. We're not going to stand for the oppression of young people and the working class and that we're here to stay and that we're going to fight back every single cut that they bring down upon us. That's me. I'm out. There's a million young people unemployed in Britain today. That's one in five under 24s. That's particularly concentrated in areas like Yorkshire, like the West Midlands, like inner London, where unemployment was already high for the before the recession. But today, those figures are rocketing up. And young people are, are being forced to pay the price for this crisis created by the bosses. We're here to campaign for real jobs, for a program of job creation, to use the skills that young people have, but also for free education, for people to be able to have the option to choose whether to go to university, to be able to work and have a job without getting into a mountain of debt or without spend, having to spend a life on the door. I'm Lana from Wales. <laughs> Money to be invested in education.
Fashion and jobs instead of the bankers' bonuses. <laughs> uh, we're very pleased with the turnout. It's over a thousand young people here. It's been backed by three of uh, the major trade unions uh, in Britain. Uh, and uh, we've just handed in a uh, petition to Downing Street. 10,000 signatures demanding that the government uh, take action and create jobs for young people. I should start by telling you how our little trip uh, into Downing Street uh, went. Uh, needless to say, nobody from the government was there to uh, address our concerns. The, uh, the butler, I presume, who opened the door to collect uh, our, our petition, uh, simply said that no one was home. And I think that very nicely summarises the attitude of this government and its response to this economic crisis. No one is home, no one has a clue, and no one is fighting for ordinary people. I'm Ray Lewis Sailing, I'm from Bangor Branch up in North Wales. I'm here because I believe that uh, the policies that the current Labour government has been implementing in order to, uh, in order to save in order to save capitalism basically by giving billions to the banks. The cost of those policies should not be passed on to us and uh, on a personal level because I don't have a job at the moment and there's sod all employment up in North Wales. They tell us capitalism is the only way that you can win the world. Actually before this recession they used to say that capitalism is a fantastic system. How could anybody want for more than this wonderful free market economy? Now it's so obvious, it's so bad that they've started to say, well, capitalism's a terrible system, but it's better than all of the others. We say no to that. And we're here today um, because our members know all about the rise in unemployment. Uh, our members are the ones that have to deal uh, with in the benefit offices that are trying to cope uh, and are inundated with the numbers of young people that are signing on. £60 billion for the bankers, nothing for us. That's why today we commit to working for a real future for young people. Thank you very much. And we're told that the reason people at the top get those bonuses, the bankers' bonuses uh, of such remarkable figures, is because they have the ability, they have the entrepreneurship, and they take the risk. But it's all of complete and utter contra. I'm very happy to be here uh, in solidarity with you for the youth fighting for their rights uh, uh, to work, uh, for the rights for free education and also fighting for real and genuine uh, uh, socialism as well as an alternative to this system. This week Sussex University where I'm a student announced its plans to make 115 redundancies. That's almost 5% of its total workforce. The subsidised childcare available to staff and students with young children will be cut along with the sexual health and drug advice service. And the university's block grants for students' union has been cut by 5%. But in reality, these savage cuts will have a devastating effect on the standard of education and research, as well as the level of service we receive and the lives of the people losing their jobs. We need to get organised and we need to fight back. There's no time to wait. The prospect of a jobless recovery is being posed by all the serious economists and commentators. Ordinary people, workers, pensioners, the unemployed, will fight back. They will have to fight back, and so will we. Youth Fight for Jobs will stamp the voice of young people on the fight back against the so-called Great Recession in the 21st century. Thank you.